the game. Stop and racing around it. You never know what you're going to meet, you see. Lovely colours, beautiful. Autumn colours. Autonomous. Autonomous? Oh, this is a bit of a bendy one. Oh, wow. yeah, you can't quite see around that one. the night um, in this little uh, pull-in that we've seen. It's a lovely rainbow there. Um, so this will be the very first park, um, it's not park for the night, but a stop that we've done since we've been motorhoming. So I will probably be sleeping with one eye open most of the night just in case there's a bogeyman or something going to come here. But it is beautiful here. Nobody around. Maybe a few sheep now and then, but I can't see any at the moment. But here we are, parked up. And I'm um, just going to zoom into where we are. There we are. That's where we are. Come out. It's really cloudy today and very cold. Um, it's just lovely here. There were a few cars that went past, um, but nothing to worry about. There we are, just um, taking the uh, levelling legs up, ready to go. So we had a lovely, a lovely sleep, like I say, very quiet, um, except for this lovely, relaxing noise of the river here. Beautiful. Um, well, I wouldn't really call it a noise. So there was one chap came and parked up beside us and then dashed off up into the hills there. Right up there, he was taking photographs and whatever else he was doing, then came back and off he went. Otherwise, we were here on our own. Um, this morning, Mark's got up because there was rubbish believe it or not um we didn't see it last night oh yesterday afternoon when we turned up probably because we were in awe of the beauty of this place and the colors but he's picked it all up a bag full i can't even begin to tell you how amazing and stunning and colorful this place is where we are. It's just a shame about the weather. It would have made some beautiful photographs. And maybe um, we could turn them into Christmas cards and then send them off to people. That'd be lovely. But uh, oh, 
the weather. What is up with this weather? This. Through here. It's just beautiful. Really autumn looking. So here we have arrived in, um, this is called Lynn Bryan, the dam, and um, we're just trying to find somewhere to, that's going to be level for us. So we're going to park the night here, um, and uh, obviously sleep the night. It's beautiful. don't know how many people will turn up later on, but... Um, We'll wait and see. So um, we're starting get to get used to this uh, park uh, world camping. Oh, here comes a car. So I'm just going to take you over to the dam. So we can see the dam. Apparently this is the back end of the dam. Whatever that means. And where they're doing some work down there. Obviously this is a weekend so they're not working today. It's beautiful. Take some pictures. So this is where we are going to stay for the night. Oh, there's a little birdhouse there. Unusual. Um, anyway, this is where we're going to stay for the night. As we were going to stay at the other place looking up at the dam but now we found this place at the top of the dam which looks absolutely beautiful I just wonder where would you have a bird house a bird table even there you go in the middle of nowhere well okay it's on a reservoir how weird maybe there's a little house behind that bush there who knows? It's me and me spookiness again. As you can see, I'm still trying to, or it's not see, but here I'm still trying to get used to wild camping. Mm -mm. Anyway, look at this view that we're going to wake up to tomorrow morning. There. When we pull the curtains, of course. Isn't that beautiful? So we're going to go for a walk in a minute. Another van there. I don't know if they're staying or not. And um, just down there are some toilets, which is great. So we can empty our waste tomorrow morning, do all the proper stuff, and then be on our way to Brecon Beach. These people, they just drive too fast around little country lanes in bad weather. They can't reverse. So we have to reverse back in our 8.6 metre motorhome. They have 4x4s. Four I don't see the point why they have 4x4s four because they don't know how to use them. They just sit there all panicky in the middle of the road waiting for you to do something because they don't know how to reverse back, drive up on the grass verge or whatever. People are stupid. I don't know how they ever pass their test and why they've got 4x4s. Four I think it's just for appearance reasons to be honest with you. Oh my God. In 200 yards, turn right. Put a camera down a bit, Do 
reckon this is the smallest, narrowest road we've been down. It's not the widest. I mean, it's very pretty, but... <laughs> The next right? No, no, I don't think so. Down there? No, no. No way. lovely round here. It's quite hair racing though. Oh, that lovely there. <laughs> we were just admiring this hedge and how lovely and tidy it is. Except we get a comment saying Mark has never seen such a tidier bush. Than this one. And I actually said it's tidier than my bush. <laughs> That's more like my bush. <laughs> It'll be like that wire. In a wire. side you get the uh, bushes in. house on the prairie. waterfall that we've seen in the woods. To 
just love the sound of water. It's fabulous. And then over this way. Who couldn't like that? So peaceful, tranquil, just what the doctor ordered. And maybe the doctors need to come here and relax themselves.